today's adventure, we are going to 1010 Discs. What is up guys? We are gonna go to 1010 discs today. Um, I'm gonna go get one disc and we're gonna go play an entire round with that single disc. That disc is gonna be a proxy. It's probably the best one disc round disc. Um, the Envy is also a really good disc. I could see it being useful for that, but the Envy has a little bit more stability than I like to have for my all around disc. Like for, for just every shot, I can make the proxy hyzer, I can make the proxy turnover, I can throw the proxy straight. So let's go to 1010, let's get a proxy. But first, let's go drop off these discs these people bought. I gotta ship these out today. And then we are off to 1010. And then we're probably gonna go to Sea Isle. in one of the channel colors, let's go. 173. Oh yeah, we're taking this with us. We're going to Sea Isle. All right guys, here we are. We're at Sea Isle Park. We're about to play the disc golf course here. We're just gonna use this proxy that we just bought from 1010 Discs, and it should be a really fun round. There's a, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of putting with premium plastic, but for the sake of the video, I think I'll just do that. <laughs> it is soft premium plastic, but it's gonna be fun, guys. Here we go, we're on hole one. All right, guys, hole one's 167 feet. It's par three, it's a really short hole, really narrow gap to hit. Wow, so that proxy, that one's a lot, actually quite a bit more stable. That proxy is actually quite a bit more stable than the, the regular neutron proxy I've been throwing. I don't know, is it, maybe mine's seasoned a little bit, but even when my other one was new, I don't remember it being that stable. All right, two on the first hole. Fantastic, that's how you want to start. Hole two, 186 feet. A couple of really tight gaps. I'm gonna forehand this proxy over these bushes on a hyzer. Try to get it to come back a little bit. Ah, oh, I got hung up in them. Ooh, here we go. Hole three is 201 feet. I'll throw a hyzer with this proxy. Whoo, man, I thought I aced it. Hole four, 224, right out here in the open. 
little OB behind it in the road. Ooh, almost went in the road. Hole five. You know, I'm pretty sure there used to be a Mando here somewhere, but I don't see it. I don't remember which tree it was. Uh, throw a little small forehand hyzer. All right. Yeah, I think this is a, probably one of the best discs for a one disc round, a putt round. Man, the proxy has just enough stability to be used off the tee. Fight out of a flex shot a little bit. You can still get it to turn over. Man, this is such a good disc. Another one. Let's go with these birdies. All right, guys, hole six is 175. Uh, I think I'm gonna play the hyzer shot off to the right a little bit. I don't know, I'm kind of in between. I kind of want to throw the forehand. Let's just float it at it, straight at it. Oh man, that's coming out early. Wow. Disc has a lot of stability right now. All right, here we go. Get this bird. Oh, not enough. It's really strange getting used to the way these putters feel. It doesn't seem like in, it would make that big of a difference just having different plastic, but it comes out of the hand a little different. Hole seven, guys. We are four down through six. Uh, finally have a hole over 300 feet. I'm gonna really open up on this proxy. Probably be able to keep it straight now. Nope. Oh, wow. Threw it too low. All right, hole seven is gonna be a birdie. I must will it into existence. <laughs> There we go. How about that bird? Hole eight, 141. Please don't litter. <laughs> hey, thanks for, thanks for the wings, new wing order. Oh, sit down. That's gonna be a tough putt. Oh, do you see this, guys? And I don't have a backpack. I'm out here with just this disc. I need my bust knee disc golf kneeling pad right now. This is what life is like without one. How do you guys survive without one? Man, I could just take a knee right here and be, I guess it's not, I could still take a knee, but it'd be nicer if I had my pad. So you don't have to do this if you have a bust and knee disc golf kneeling pad. Another bird, hole nine, 253. Slight turnover on this one. Just gonna throw it a little bit of Anheuser and hope it holds it. Nope, too low. Actually, that slid quite a bit. I might have skidded up inside the circle. Might be a bird. Hole nine is gonna be a birdie. Gotta will it just like I did seven. Ooh, I didn't will it hard enough. <laughs> All right, hole 10. Guys, hole 10, 225, straight ahead. Pretty simple hole like all the rest of the holes so far. Just gonna throw it out to the right and let the proxy crash in by the basket. Mm. 
Slow down, good grief. That's a skippy proxy right there. All right, I'm gonna try to spin this through these branches. <gasps> Let's go. Hole 11, 261. I'm gonna throw straight at that tree beside the basket to the right a little bit. Just let it fade towards it. Perfect. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Hole 12, 275. We've got a head breeze, probably about four or five miles an hour. I'm just gonna throw straight at it and flat maybe slightly to the right of it. Oh, dang, I yanked that over, get through. Look how good the proxy is, y'all. Well, that was lucky. Let's go. I can't believe I got in the circle on that. That is super lucky. I love you. Nine down through 12, hole 13 is 263 feet. Do, trying the straight at it method again. Again with the tree love. Let's go. How about 10 down through 13 guys? 315. We're gonna mash this one straight at it. Sit down. Oh no, don't sit down. Wow. Oh man. It was looking like it was gonna sneak over for a split second. I'll take a par. At par, hole 14, hole 15 is 252. I'm gonna give this an ace run. Slide hyzer. Oh, man, that was close. One of these days, we're gonna get a hole in one on film. And I thought today was the day twice now. The next, the last three holes are kind of just on the other side of ace run with a putter, I think, for me anyway. So, doesn't mean we won't try. The next hole is definitely a par. It's over 400 feet, I believe, or right at 400. I don't have that with a putter. Hole 16 is just under 400 feet long. Slight tailwind. Get as close as I can, but this is just a putter. Man. Oh. Hole seventeen. Put in my par for 16, we're 11 down. I remember this hole being longer than this. It says 266 and it looks about 266. Maybe the tee pad used to be somewhere else before they got permanent pads. We're just gonna throw the proxy out to the right a little ways and let it hyzer in. Oh, these little hills by these tee pads keep getting me. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Whew. Yeah, 18 doesn't look as long as I thought it was either. All right, 18 is 307 feet. Just left of that big tree. I'm gonna throw it right at that tree. Just let it fade in. That is parked. 
That just did exactly what I wanted it to. Oh my gosh, that shot felt so good. Oh man. Well, this is my best round here by a stroke, I think. Because I'm under the basket, so I mean, spoiler alert, I'm gonna get a birdie on 18. That is Sea Isle, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was a perfect course to go and try out the proxy as a one disc only round and it went fantastic. I just want to say thanks to my sponsors, 1010 Discs and Bust Knee Disc Golf Kneeling Pads. I actually wish I'd have had my Bust Knee Disc Golf Kneeling Pad in that round at least once because uh, I was you know, out there with just the disc and the camera. I didn't bring a backpack so I didn't have my, my supplies with me. All I had was the disc and a marker. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Facebook, type in Bust Knee Disc Golf Kneeling Pads and it will come up and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's only $15. And I don't think I've ever seen one tear up, honestly. So if you would, please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss what I got coming next. We're gonna try to tag along with whatever challenges the pros do in their videos this, this off season. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, if you have a suggestion, drop it in the comments. I always respond to my comments if you ask a question and I read every single one of them. So thanks guys.